Howdy, y'all. Hi, it's, guys. It's Ryan. And Angela. From uh, RD Music. That's right. Deep in the heart of Canton, Texas, where we're at right now. Yeah, we're about to leave. We're on our way to Houston, Texas. Houston? H Town. Yeah. Texas. And we're going to see the guys. We're going to go visit Jeff at Diamond Guitars and Amps, formerly DBZ Guitars, but it's Diamond Guitars. Yeah. Just breaking that confusion for people. So we're taking a trip. We uh, decided it's Sunday, Easter Sunday. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. He is risen. We're uh, on our way. We're just going to drive tonight and go to Houston. Canton's about four hours from Houston. Yeah. Three, three hours and 45 minutes from Houston. Close four hours. A good four hours. Pretty much four hours. So yeah. for all my friends in other places, it's a little bit of a drive from Canton to Houston. So we're going to go tonight, get a hotel, and then go visit uh, Diamond tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Shoot some videos, uh, peruse the amps and guitars. I talked to him at NAMM, but this will be cool because it's way less noisy and I have some more time to chat about the guitars and the stuff. And we'll see about uh, doing some stuff with R&D Music. Yeah. It is 9.40 on a Sunday night. And we're not even in back to downtown yet. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of cars. Yeah, it is. Houston is a busy, busy city. <laughs> Should be at our hotel soon, though. Yep. Oh, maybe 10 minutes left. Something like that. Something. Hey guys, so we arrived at our hotel. It is 9:58, and we are in Houston. And I don't know if you can see the hotel back there. See that? Ryan went to go check us in. We're really tired, and it was only a four-hour drive, <laughs> but. Um, we've been up all day long. It's Easter Sunday, so we've had a long day thus far, and we're just going to get settled in. See you inside. Fourth floor. <laughs> you might be in Texas. <clears throat> you might be in a hotel in Houston, Texas. Can you tell? Fourth floor. There's only one key. What's the password? <laughs> Come on in. <clears throat> Pretty much. Pretty much. Hi, Houston. <laughs> way over there, you can not really see. There's there's some tall buildings way over there. Way over there. Yeah. <clears throat> there's I-10. Yeah, it's actually really comfy. It's really? Nice. Uh -huh. <clears throat> <laughs> It crap. It is comfortable. I know. Oh it's man, big old, big old mirror right here. I don't know what that door goes to. Oh, is it? Other room. Oh, it's another suite. There's a. Uh, bathroom. Shower. I'm doing the Rob Chappers Hotel <laughs> tour. I always thought it was funny when Rob would do this. Uh, coffee maker. So yeah, we're going to uh, call it a day. Get some rest. We're at the Hampton. The Hamptons. In uh, Houston, Texas. So we will be off to see DBZ, Diamond Guitars. Formerly DBZ. It's not DBZ anymore. No. It's just Diamond mm -hmm. Guitars and Amps. Yes. Tomorrow morning, we'll hang out with those guys. Yeah. Look at amps and guitars, talk some business, and uh, yeah. yeah. Now it's time to chillax. Watch some HGTV. HGTV time. <laughs> Rock on. <laughs> if you ever wanted to know what it looks like to see me in the morning when I wake up, it looks like this. I gotta do 
do something with that. Tell me about this place again. So we're at Pizzatola's Barbecue in the heart of Houston, right across the street from the shop, basically. Uh, Pizzatola's has been here since the 30s. Family owned, always. They've never had multiple locations, only this one. And uh, they do. Uh, they, they cook everything that morning, right? So they'll start cooking 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning. They smoke everything on the original pits they used in the 30s. Wow. So it's got the whole thing going on. But that's where we're at. Best ribs anywhere. Best ribs anywhere. We're about to, we're about to find us. Best ribs anywhere. <laughs> that, that's what you got for the for the camera and the audience. Is you got what he said. <laughs> she just agreed with you, so it's uh, she ought to know. <laughs> Best trips anywhere. To my customers, like him, he thinks it's the best. Yeah. And Gatlin's customers and Corkscrew and Killens and all these other good barbecue places, their customers think there's, because that's why they go back. Yeah. Now, the, the barbecue places that people try and nobody likes it, they close. Yeah. <laughs> They're still out of business. So you got to have you got to have some people like it. Uh, this was... Oh, my God. Tell us about our... Ryan from RNA is going to have his first Pizzatola's rib. He's had many ribs, but this is going to be his first Pizzatola's rib. Which one, uh, which one should I get? Better? Wait, that, wait, that looks like a good one right there. This one looks good? That one looks good. I think this is good. Let's give this a shot. Get uh, all the beer in it. That's a good rib. <laughs> is it really good? It is really good. You want some of my rib? No, I'm on my own. You want your rib? And mine. Oh, that's good. Will we put that in the delicious category? So, yeah. RNA Music says Pizzatolas is great. Look at this. For those of you who are vegans or vegetarians, you'll love this plate of food. For those of you that aren't, you'll totally love offended. this plate of food. If you're into protein, if you're into protein, you'll be happy. <laughs> so we just came back from lunch with Jeff from Diamond Guitars. It was awesome. We've already been here a while looking at stuff. But I'm going to take you through a quick tour of the facilité, right? So you can see what Diamond HQ, Diamond Amps and Guitars USA HQ looks like. So here's a little bit of a tour. Diamond. There's guitars everywhere. <laughs> Guitars, basses, people who have good taste in movies. <laughs> it's like carried away, friend. <laughs> I was talking about you. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Diamond amps, a bunch of guitars, amps, guitars. Monster Go Juice. So my buddy Pat in Australia calls it Go Juice. Ryan, crikey, stop drinking the Go Juice. This is the showroom, technically, then, right? This is technically the showroom. Usually, what's better than this? That's a Monday. <laughs> they had a case of the Mondays in the showroom. This is the office area. Oh, uh, look. There's Angela from RD Music. Hello. And no, Jeff. I'm Jeff. Oh, no, no. That's Angela. It's hard to mistake, you know. We look so much alike. I know, but it could be because I have such a feminine appearance. That's Jeff's cute. beard is way more magnificent than and hers? Yeah, Angela, you're going to have to Your work. Beard it's is, like Wonder Woman's jet, it's invisible. It's Your invisible. Your beard is not working. No. It's not working for you. It's not. <laughs> That's just crazy. So, yeah, we just came in through the showroom. <laughs> These are the, uh, like, this is the office area, Jeff? Yeah, let me see that. We're, we're clothes shopping. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Angela's picking out some. Yes. Angela's got, just got her new John, John Barbados shirt. I mean, diamond shirt. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. I like that one. 
<laughs> I like the flag. I do. I'm a bit partial to Texas it. Texas or Texas. <laughs> Deep in the heart of Texas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he got it. Very nice. And Good then guy. this is um, a wall of awesomeness. A wall of awesomeness? Wall of awesome. Not to be mistaken with the Great Wall of China. Some, uh, is that gold? That is gold. Gold record. Five finger death punch. Five finger death punch. Like From a distance it kind of looks platinum. From way, the one next way. to it is definitely platinum. Oh, the shine down. Yes. Yeah, it's platinum, more of a silvery. Platinum. <laughs> wow, pretty and awesome. And then these were first two golds from Five Finger Death Punch. Oh, cool. This was a cool one too. This was another 311 one that was a limited edition litho that the band signed from the 311 Snoop Dogg tour. Oh, cool. And the band signed it. Yeah. That's wicked. Here's the Mahoney signature. Tim does this backwards writing thing. Uh, you can see how that's backwards. Nice. <laughs> that's tough to do. I don't think I could do that. I, I, I can't do it either. I did know a guy once that could write with both hands, left hand backwards, right hand forwards simultaneously. Wow. That was kind of creepy to see. That's impressive. Yeah. He'd probably be a great guitar player. <laughs> Maybe. I don't not know. this particular guy. <laughs> not, not, not this Fail. guy. Here, I can show you the, you know, Tone King has the Tone Lounge. Yeah. I have the, the Mess Lounge, <laughs> which is also the backdrop for most of the, almost all of the Guitar Gear Tech Talks. Yeah. I've watched a few of those. So, that's what you're usually seeing. Part of that wall is what you're usually seeing in the Guitar Gear Tech Talk and in the computer that's broadcasting me. Yeah, that's a pretty, uh, pretty nice. I was envious of your computer. I'm trying <laughs> to upgrade them. To try to keep people out of my office. They have not worked. Stop. Didn't go no further. It's like, I want to meet the guy who has these awesome signs on this. Oh, that's a scuba thing. Yeah, I was just reading it for these real. Are, like, these signs are mm -hmm. ones that we do for uh, the NSS CDS, the National Spelological Society Cave Diving Section, and these are the ones we do for NACD, which is the National Association for Cave Diving. But these are signs that we put underwater we're at the entrance to the cave zones to try to get people to not go in that aren't trained for it. Because it's incredibly dangerous. More than 300 divers, including open water scuba instructors, have died in caves just like this one. If you go in. You might not come you out. Could, you could die. Like, I thought this was a good sign. Like, I thought this would keep people out, right? Prevent your death. I mean, that's a fairly clear message. And then they got the whole Reaper with the dead scuba divers. Like, that kind of sends a message. Like, don't go in here. But, this can happen to you. but if you tell people not to do something, what do they do? They do. What if you say, don't buy five guitars each of mine in the next three days? <laughs> don't. Whatever you do. <laughs> it's like... Oh, this guitar? Oh, be sorry. Uh, you can't buy it. It's a limited dish. You can't have it. I want it now. I want it more. I know. Like, we thought about. Don't doing think it. of purple elephants. We we think that our our business model for next year may be we're only going to do limited editions. <laughs> Actually, what we're going to do is we'll release next year's line and then immediately discontinue everything because then everybody will want it. Everything's limited edition. dish. Everything. It's all discontinued. Once you put it out, it's discontinued. It's discontinued. So this is the uh, the Jeff Lounge. <laughs> the diamond lounge oh, what are you <clears throat> here's one thing I'm gonna go ahead and show this because we're in Texas <laughs> and uh, you know guitars reasons <laughs> security that is a uh, Benelli super black eagle nice. it makes music which I actually got in trade from another dealer wanted one of the guitars he said like, well trade you this Benelli that's a deal. <laughs> well, I have one of those. I like it. So, and mine's at home, so I'll take that one. I would take that deal. Yeah. Nice. Swanky couches. I didn't even sit down, Angela. How was that chair? You, you sat on it. Plush. Plush. Brown leather. Manly. Oh, crap. That's comfy. This is great. Mm -hmm. And the artsy shot of Ryan relaxing. Yeah, that's not going to play very good on camera there, buddy. <laughs> you have uh, minions that have offices? I do. They're just smaller versions of this. Small, as they should be. 
<laughs> cool. We, we, try, we try here to give comfort to the employees. So we ensure that each office is at least 30% bigger than the person who's in the office. That's a good, uh, that's a good size ratio. We, we want to make sure they have at least room <laughs> to do this. Yeah. I like the fact that y'all have uh, the biggest doors I've ever seen. Yeah. Well, what do they say about Texas? And Everything's size? bigger in Texas. That's right. Why should that not include the doors? I, you know, I know. How tall are these ceilings, man? Uh, like 20 feet? 14 foot in here. No, 12 foot in here. The amp room is 14 foot, but then the retail room and the warehouse are 28. Good God. Yeah, how tall is that door? <laughs> That's 10? Uh, it's got to be 10. I think it is. That's a 10 it's, foot. I think, actually, I think it's 9.6. <laughs> yeah, it's about 9.5, I think. Y'all's doors are way bigger than other people's doors. 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 Well, no, they're not bigger than the doors in Prague. No. Oh. Yes, the doors in Prague are way bigger. They're bigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Quite a bit bigger. Those are awesome. <laughs> hey, we just saw a minion. <laughs> All right, so this is the office area, and there's two yeah, there's yeah. two guys in here or two desks, so they have to share. Sales guys, is that what they do? Uh, admin in there. Logistics Administration and accounting. Accounting and logistics. Sam's office is uh, where the sales office is. As you can see, he's fulfilling one of his many important responsibilities here, like making boxes. <laughs> Don't look at me. Run. <laughs> Run. Don't you look at me. <laughs> yeah. He's great, man. He was, uh, he was taking fun. me through the, some of the amps in there earlier and uh, giving me all the lowdown on the diamond amps. It was two of amps. It's pretty awesome. Pretty swanky. I'm your big fan. I am, I'm a big fan of diamond products. <laughs> yes, yeah, big fan. You're, you're, you're a believer. I, I am. You know, I've, I've experienced them. I've played them, and in my opinion, I just, I just can't find a better product for the money. So, I try to stick all the. <laughs> I played on them. They were, they were great, man. Yeah, now I want, I want nice. them. We got some posters. Mm -hmm. Zoltan. He's been playing diamond for amps for like a long time, right? That's right. Quite a while with the diamond amps. Drags his touring rig all over the world because he won't play on anything else. Nice. His touring rig the that whole time. A lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's uh, Mr. Rock. He's a small, small time producer. Yeah. Done a couple of records. I'm a big fan of like one of his records. Let me guess. Feel good? 
Uh, that one was really good. But no. Easy. Well, I mean, I'm a big fan of Plus Week. That's the one you're the biggest fan of. It's black. Oh, Metallica Black Album. Yeah. It's a good one. Big fan. Dr. Feelgood is awesome, though. Actually, another one of his that is one of my favorite is, uh, you know, he did the Motley Crue record with my friend John Karabi. Yeah. And that is a phenomenal record. I had that record. It's a great record. It's awesome. If you haven't listened to it, go back and listen to it. The Motley Crue self-titled with John Karabi singing. That's an awesome record. It was good. Yeah. I liked it. So Bob knows a little bit about rock. He Tones. Looks, he looks like it. <laughs> Tim, 311. Love 311. Bob did the last two 311 records too. Oh, really? Yes. That's awesome. That, in fact, this rig is, uh, this is studio gear, but these are Mahoney's heads in the pictures. And then afterwards, when Bob was doing the first record, he called me and bought the exact same thing. He wanted exactly what Tim had, a Spitfire 2, all blacked out. That's pretty awesome. So that's what Bob Rock owns is. Is that amp? I want one. I can I can do that. We I know can, a guy. We can make that happen. I know a guy. <laughs> I've been a big supporter of Diamond Products. I got some buddies there. Get you hooked up. You know a guy who can make that happen. Yeah. We'll talk later. <laughs> Let's make that happen. All right. So what's down this uh, mega tall hallway of awesomeness? Well, <laughs> restrooms. There's the restrooms. There's the restrooms. Parts. This parts. Here was the question that I asked earlier. There is a women's restroom. How often do people go in there? Well, I'm still single, so it happens occasionally. <laughs> Every now and then. Every now and then. And then here, you hear that? All, all the RNA music women fans? Jeff's, uh, Jeff's available. He's available. Right, sales, diamond amplification, send pics. <laughs> <laughs> and so, get, shoot a guitar video a and audition. Friends. I have a couple of friends. This is where we keep things like our pickups. Oh, cool. Yes. I didn't see this earlier. So we have several different versions of our Diamond Custom pickups, and we also have both of our Octane Series pickups. Sweet. And those are Yowl's branded pickups. These are all my designs, all, all made for us. These are our pickups, not somebody's Chinese off-the-shelf pickup, as you've heard me say on the show before. Right. Um, no, these, are, these are ours. 100% specced out by you. Completely designed by me. Um, in our custom product, and you can get them, of course, at the Merchant Accessory Store. Cool. In case you need it, there's some cave line. In case you need to respool your jump reels. Very good. When I'm swimming in caves. Yeah. I sure will. I will not be doing. In case you need that. <coughs> I want to do it. Any you ever seen a freshwater shark in a cave? <laughs> I'm sure it could happen. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty Ow. sure. I don't know. <laughs> But I suspect the snarks are, uh, sharks are sneaky. Sneaky. They are. And they will bite you. So behind here, hopefully you have good video editing skills. Oh, yeah. Behind here is the door of the super secret stuff. Mega secret? Yes. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you this twice so you can cut it well. What you'll do is you'll go back and you'll do the video. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut in. When I open the door, you're going to cut in and like a shot that you find somewhere on the Internet of like the ninjas training. Right? You like the movie scene? Yeah. So, like, when I open the door, that's what you cut into. Right? So, I'll set you up again. Okay. Oh! Oh, Ryan! You'd like to know what's behind the door? Yes, please. Uh, let us show you. This is where our secret stuff happens. Secret stuff. You should leave the whole lead in, though, even the part where I'm telling you to edit it in. <laughs> I'll do that. That'd be great. That'd be cool. So we got uh, ninjas and flamethrowers and uh, more minions. Yes. All training for super secret ninja work. <laughs> well, was there ever a ninja who wasn't secretive? There was the public ninjas. Right. They were a little known brand. They didn't last very long. The public ninjas. It was like a, just a little sect of a sect kind of thing. Do I want shots of these guitars down here on the floor, or no, are they super secret? Not. Super secret! Super secret guitars on the floor you don't get to see. Uh, oh. 
what we got over here? The photo studio. Swanky. Where we take our brilliant swanky shots of guitars. Things. Things. Stuff. Yes. All the beautiful hard shell cases. And for the customers that don't know, I'll tell you that when you buy one of our guitars and you get our branded case with it, you automatically qualify for the player's benefits package, which is a really cool thing if you are a guitar player because you get a five-year bumper-to-bumper -to -bumper warranty on your guitar. Then you get a free membership to the Diamond Club, which gives you access to limited editions, discounts on merchant accessory, access to club member-only specials, and you don't have to do anything special to qualify. It's just if you buy the guitar and the case at the same time, you fill out the little card or your dealer will send it in and you get the player's benefits package for free. For free! It's kind of like being in a super secret ninja club if you buy the case with the guitar. In fact, that's what we call it because we actually send you a ninja suit with the club package. Who else does that? Nobody does that. Where else do you get a free ninja suit? Disclaimer, we're only kidding about the free ninja suit. If you get the player's benefits package and you do not get the free ninja suit, do not call me saying you didn't get it. We're just kidding, there's no ninja suit. But in theory, that would be pretty cool. But yeah, it is actually a cool thing because, you know, with the five-year bumper-to-bumper warranty on your guitar is something that nobody else is offering. And then being able to get first pick on the limited editions and stuff like that, um, that's a pretty cool gig. So that's all right. Yeah. And those are some uh, dang sexy cases is the technical description. Dang. Dang sexy. We'd say here. Dang. Aw oh, dang. So that's the case section. <clears throat> uh oh. That's where uh, Sam is coordinating the next round of ninja training. He's organizing ninja attacks. He's putting a Google Calendar together for the ninja students. Nice. And an Evite. <laughs> and an Evite. Yeah. On Eventbrite. Yeah, uh, yeah, the Evite for the uh, Ninja Ice Cream Social. <laughs> <laughs> Here is a whole other sect of ninjas. Oh, yeah. Science ninjas. Come on in. So, that's Mike, and that's Ed. And, uh, Ninja Mike. They run the, uh, they run, uh, groups of the Ninja Training Program. <laughs> we are the Ninja Training Program. Can you, can you give them a ninja move that you might teach your students? Here, I can He doesn't you, give away his secrets. I can show you Eddie's favorite ninja move. You ready for this one? I'm ready. Okay, this is Eddie Travis's famous, famous ninja move. <laughs> Someone just died. <laughs> and Mike does the weapons training for the ninjas, so he teaches, teaches ninja students how to throw like wrenches and drivers and stuff across the room. Flex capacitors. Yes. <laughs> So this is uh, the diamond amps room, then, yeah. where all the amps are built. Here's a yes, it is, and here's a lesson. Here's a lesson for all amplifier owners. This is an amplifier that a customer sent back to us, saying, "We don't know what's happening to it, but it just keeps dying on us, and we don't figure out why." This should be a warranty claim until you open it up and you lift the board and you found out that people have installed jumpers to jump past critical components of the amplifier that not only damaged it, but actually melted the transformer. Which, I don't want to touch that. that. <laughs> I told you it was hot 19 times. How? It's like a Seinfeld show. How? <laughs> uh, so please, amplifier owners, don't A, work on your own amplifiers, or B, take them to non-qualified technicians. And just so you know, your friend that has a multimeter that says he has an electronics background does not make him an amplifier tech. So this is what happens to your amplifier. We have to tear it all apart if you don't listen to those very basic rules. Yeah. If they had a problem, is that the smoke board? can they not just... Um... This is what happens when you let non-qualified technicians work on amplifiers. Ooh, that looks like it's a bad thing. Yes. You know, so the area where the amplifier is regulated, you're not supposed to pass that area on purpose. There you go. This is the inside of one of our American-made amplifiers. This is the 327 SD that most people have heard about now, the amplifier that we designed with Mike Saldano. So this is actually the first one that we made. 
Y'all had this one at the Is this the one that was at the NAMM show? It is the one that was at the NAMM show. <laughs> Taking it out of the head shell because we were running new. Oh, look, are you touching it? I'm touching it. Please don't. You can't oh. touch that. Yes. Don't. No. no. It's twenty-five dollars per touch. Don't touch. Angela, write him a check. Oh, sweet. Is that all it takes? <laughs> keep touching. Keep touching. <laughs> Uh, so this that's is the original the, one. This is, uh, which it was a full production unit. It wasn't just like a weird prototype. It was a full production unit, which is why it is clean and looks normal and right. So that's kind of what this. Here's another one. Here it's a Spitfire too, but this gives you an idea of what the inside of our USA amplifiers look like. People don't understand why these cost so much, and you shouldn't have a hard time looking at the inside and seeing. There are them. lots of pieces. <laughs> there. I mean, I've put together some fancy Lego sets in my time. There are many pieces. But uh, nothing quite this fancy. It's very colorful, though. Each of those colors has a meaning. People are often confused about why stuff costs so much when it's made in America. This, the, each one has a meaning. This yellow means that electricity is going through here, and the blue means that different electricity is going through, and the red means that other electricity is going through. Yeah, and all those things are kind of like you shouldn't touch it when it's plugged in, probably. Yes. No touchy. There yeah, no there's another lesson for amplifier owners. If you ever open your own amplifier for some reason and look inside, do not do this. <laughs> Unless you like the sign on your door. <laughs> we do our own science. Yeah, right. I'm talking about the sign of your office door. Which accidentally, I mean, actually, pretty much happened today. <laughs> <laughs> this right here, for example, is the inside of one of our uh, little or class A amplifiers. This is the inside of an assassin. So a lot of people kind of assume because the price is down that it's a different kind of quality amplifier, but you can see from looking inside them, you know, we use only the highest quality in there, and all of these are obviously hand-wired on eyelet boards. So when you buy like an Assassin or a Positron from us, you know, you're getting a true unadulterated handmade amplifier. Wow. So that's kind of cool, I think. That's very cool. There's some really swanky components in there. Like I said, I'm not an electronics guy, but I know enough pedal builders. Pedal builders. They like to nerd out on gear, and they're talking about capacitors and components, and it looks like it's nice. They are they're swanky. Swanky. We choose the components purely based on color. Well, you picked some good ones. The yellow looks expensive. Oh, you know, it's yellow. <laughs> Only the yellow ones that are good enough. It's yellow. It's very difficult to keep clean <laughs> in the manufacturing process. Yeah. These are, so these are the class A, what, 18 watts? These are 18 watts. The Assassin? Both of these are Assassins, yes. I played that earlier through a 4x12. It was pretty awesome. Not bad for, for even through a, for an 18 watt like that, class A through a 4x12, it's got a lot of power to it. Yeah, it was kicking. It was yeah. awesome. Mmm, all right. Sweet. I like your uh, double body guitar over there. It's pretty cool. Not a double body. It's just a uh, really that's sweet. That's the body, stock. and that's the headstock. Oh, gotcha! I was confused. Now it makes perfect sense. So we're out of the science room. More warehouse. We're gonna shoot Chris this way, so you have the light behind you. Mm -hmm. Plus, I have my other two guys off today, so. Here you go. <laughs> you better answer that. <laughs> Hello? No, got hung up on. Oh, Mom! <laughs> so this is actually one of RNA's pieces. Angela picked this one up. She did. The uh, Black with Gold Stripe Renegade. With uh, which has our Octane series pickups in it. It was my latest pickup design. Really hot, killer sounding pickup. So that's the Octane series pickups. And only available right now in the Renegade ST Pluses. You can't get them in any of our other guitars. You can buy them separately from us, but they don't come in any of the other guitars. Although we're gonna have a limited edition, I think shortly that's got them. And in a really special place that you'll be seeing or hearing about soon. Um, but that's what this is, and so Chris is going through the setup process. Like all guitars here at Diamond, everything goes through setup before it goes to the dealer so that we can do all of our quality control, make sure the guitar's looking, playing, right, and perfect before it goes out to the dealer. 
Yeah, we definitely appreciate that because I know when I get guitars in, I'm pretty particular about checking them out. And then before I ship them out to customers, we ship a lot of guitars all over the United States. And I always double check them again before shipping. So when you guys do stuff like this, it makes things way easier on guys like me. Yes. And I like that. <laughs> it makes me happy in my heart places. It gives me warm and fuzzies. In your what? Places? My heart places. Okay. Right yeah. there. I misunderstood it first, so thank you for clarifying. Heart. My hearts. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's what we do. That's the process here for every guitar. And we go through a very significant quality control process before sending everything out. Yeah, we've gotten several guitars, and uh, while we were gone to lunch, they were working on our guitars. So they're pretty thorough. You see your stack? Yes. Your fat stack? Fat stack of guitars. Fat stack. This is this is your first order, right? Yeah. Part part of it, yes. The uh, we've got a beautiful Bolero quilt maple here in the night sky finish, which is just a gorgeous color. It's one of my favorites. It's amazing. The Imperial ST with the spalt top in the satin walnut, which is a great one. And you picked a good one because you got the one that still has the double humbuckers, where the 2015 version is a hum single single. So. My personal preference is the double hum, so I'm glad you picked that one. Me too. Uh, underneath that, a Hailfire SM, one of our most popular guitars. This one's in the trans teal finish with the spalt top. That one is beautiful as well. And then, of course, the Renegade that we just saw. This one right here. We won't open the case because we're not going to make it burned of the light that comes emits from the case. Because <laughs> it's a beautiful golden Carina Cavallo. Yeah. All Karina body, all Karina neck, and that gorgeous kind of Karina goldy color. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's yeah. uh, We won't open it now. We'll save it for later. It's all, all in this beautiful case. It's very like special. Because this guy is in the club, the super secret ninja club now. That's right. And then this is yours as well. Yep. Oh, back in the bag. Won't show very good, but you can show it again soon. But this is a... Uh, this is our uh, Hailfire base mm -hmm. in a flame top, transparent black, transparent charcoal. Yeah. Uh, beautiful Hailfire base. That one had an amazing finish on it. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It is. It's even better than the uh, the one I was looking at in the showroom. It was beautiful. This one's even nicer. That is the thing about guitars, right? The wood. Yeah. They're all different. And, well, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, but I think that one is it's pretty super hot. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, man. So that's that, and uh, maybe you can, when you take all these home, you can open them up and show them to uh, your friends and family. We will. We will be doing videos probably throughout the week on these, so I'm pretty excited about that. Good. Yeah. So this is a warehouse, loading docks, ninja weapons, all kinds of good stuff. So I think that's pretty much the tour. I didn't show off the bathroom. I don't think there's any reason to do that. Probably not. Oh wait, on the way out we gotta go through the break room. Oh. Because there's some cool stuff out there. We can do that too. Yeah. Let's go that way. I heard shredding. Nice. All right, let's check out the break room and we'll come back for our Walk guitars. This way. Did you see, uh, should we cover just in case you want to clip her? Oh, yeah. Let's not forget this. This brings back memories of saws. If you edit this video in chronological order, I'll introduce this room as the break, as the break room because I don't like my employees taking time off, so I insist that they eat their lunch while working with power tools. You know, if they're, they're more effective that way. So this is where we make uh, a lot of our different products. You can see really the level of American make we have all the way down to, you know, we make our own head shells here. Uh, most of the different cabinets are made here. The Vanguard series we bring in, but the American grade cabinets we make on our own. Uh, watch your step on the floor. But you can see over here, we were looking at the 327. Oh yeah, oh yeah, nice. There's the chassis. 
Uh, that's a head shell. The head shell. That's a chassis. Chassis. It's a sassy chassis. Did you see this? Look at this. Mike and I signed the first 10, which will actually go in the reverse of this. They'll be silver with black, and those are the first limited editions. And uh, we only made 10 of those, and the chassis come signed by Mike and I. Uh, are they already sold out? The first 10 are. Yeah, the limited editions are, yes. Of course this, they are. This version is not. Oh. Um, and uh, we're going we're gonna to shellac over the signatures because we know that you'd rather take the signatures off. But we want to we want to feel better about ourselves, so we're gonna clear coat over the signature <laughs> so you can't wipe it off. Yeah, don't wipe off there. <laughs> you don't want that. We wanted to devalue your amp immediately by signing it. <laughs> that Mike Soldano. You What's know. he ever done? God, <laughs> let's get rid of that. So this is the wood shop where we make all kinds of stuff. We do a lot of prototyping in here. We make amps. We make cabinets, head shells. You name it. Uh, all happens in here. That's some good work. So I was always really nervous working in the wood shop. <clears throat> and I can tell, I mean, I can see already, you know, y'all have had like, uh, what, six fatalities in here? <laughs> Employee fatalities, <clears throat> not actual deaths. Uh, yeah, because saws are dangerous, you know. They are. Nobody died, I'm just saying. Just a bit of fun. Stuff, 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 pallets, Angela, more stuff. where all the breaking happens. Sweet, sweet Georgia. We were just really impressed with the, uh, the posters that came here. I mean, guitars are cool, amps are cool, that's kind of some cool stuff. like the posters? Posters are pretty. I like that wall, actually. Yeah, that's nice. I'm a, I'm a big fan. Yes, I mean, you, yes, you are. It's Texas, right? So it's Texas. Yeah, well, you, Texas. Got, you know, when you gotta have stuff like that, hot rods and Dr. Pepper. Did you see that? I found that on eBay. The Dublin Dr. Pepper sign. Oh, this is, is the best. I love it. By a long shot. Yes, it is. Yeah. You know what it's called? You know they can't call it that anymore now, right? No. So the story goes when somehow I guess when they got bought originally, Dublin was able to keep their plant. Somehow they engineered a deal that they could still call it Dr. Pepper but they were only allowed to sell in a six county radius. And then they put an online store, they had a soda shop there at the bottling facility, but then right. they did an online store, and uh -huh. so then they got sued saying, well, you're obviously selling outside the six county radius. So they got forced into having to change the name. So they could no longer call it Dublin Dr. Pepper. So cleverly, they changed it, best name change in the history of the world. They changed it to Doppelganger. Which both, of course, has the meaning and right. kind of sounds like Dr. Pepper. Yes, it does. Best name change ever. <laughs> so that's the break room. Break Very room. Nice. And of course, the ever so lovely Lily Munster, the original yes. goth chick. Yes, she is. <laughs> See, you and my buddy Paul, bass player, he's bitter about playing bass. He's quite the, uh, he's quite a fan of the Munsters. Oh, I grew up on the Munsters. <laughs> Not your friend. You know what that's from? Mm -mm. That's funny. I like this torn up paper. <laughs> Velociraptor. Well, it's been 12 days since the last Velociraptor attack. I posted that bird of prey, the black and red one, the galaxy red. I saw that. So she had like 500 and something likes. Immediately. That's funny. So we're back in the showroom now. There's some very pointy guitars here. Bird of Prey. This is a pretty swanky uh, red and black one. That was just on the Facebook page, wasn't it? Yes, it was. <clears throat> I do like some pointy guitars, I have to say. Well, I, then of course on the other side of on the other side of the guitar market, we've got some of the new Boleros here, which are really cool. This is a great one, new color in the Bolero STF, the trans gunmetal. Mm-hmm. 25 five scale length, 24 frets, EMG 8185, and those uh, map for like 699. I like EMGs. 699? 699. I like EMGs too. 
or of course the uh, Elite Black Series right here. 649 with all the matte hardware and tactical look. Uh, part of our new series here, these are the new AVs. I love this metallic orange. Mm -hmm. You know, my custom pickups, all metallic finish, binding, the whole shebang, the block inlays, and this one in the uh, pearl silver. That's nice. Are um, 549 map in the US. What? Yep, 549. 549. Yep. And then the two that I don't have here because they just went out to an in-store appearance at a store in Northern California um, are the uh, Lemon Sunrise and the Midnight Violet, uh, which are the Bolero ST. Uh, wow, I stumbled on my own guitar. The ST Plus, <laughs> which is the um, gonna have a flame top, my custom pickups, everything at six ninety nine. With I'm sorry, five ninety nine. Some gorgeous colors. Oh wow, five ninety nine. This is, of course, one of our most popular selling, the Tiger's Eye. Uh, this one up top here. Oh, yeah. Oh, this yeah. one on its way to you. I've got that one. I can't wait. It'll probably be really late when we get back to Canton, Texas today, so I may not get to play guitars tonight, but... That's okay. Tomorrow. So let me get you uh, one of the new... Monarchs, that'd be cool to see, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Love it. I really like that body style. I love that color. It's my favorite color. Right? That is amazing. What is the name of this? Uh, Midnight Moonrise. Midnight. The too. Uh, this one has a Seymour Duncan custom in the bridge and a pearly gates in the neck. What? Yeah. That's cool. Well, they have a pearly gates neck pickup, which sounds phenomenal. Uh, so this is a Duncan Custom in the bridge and a Pearly Gates in the neck. One of the things we did a lot this year was we really got, you know, tricked with the pickups and instead of just doing the standard JB-59 in every guitar, we, you know, really spent a lot of time voicing the pickups to the guitar mm -hmm. and choosing the right combination. So like the semi-hollow version of this has a 59 Custom Hybrid and a 59. And then the Ice Blue Quilt, which is not here, which has been a big favorite of people, is um, has my custom Seymour Duncan set in it that's only available in some of our guitars. The the DD1 whole shot bridge pickup and the DD5 four stroke neck pickup that are pickups I designed with Seymour, made by Seymour in California. So that's the, pretty uh, sweet. But that's this one. I like that. Angela guitars. And then I'll get the. Let me grab the... Put it on the list. Put it on the list. Whoa! Scary. <laughs> this is one of my personal favorites. This is the uh, Monarch in Natural Amethyst Burst. I really like this because we use the, the center natural bursting to the um, kind of Aberdeen color on the outside or the amethyst color on the outside. Right, it's a very light sort of dark purple. Yeah, and then maybe a white balance. It could just be your LCD screens not reading you, but it's, it uh, yeah, it's, it goes to a dark purple around the edge. It goes to, from a lighter purple to a darker purple as you go around the edge. Take a picture of it, too. Yeah, that's that's beautiful. Dark signature, metal fresh dry cover. Oh, there you go. See, even the picture. Oh, yeah. picture of it. This is a really cool one for the seven string fans. That's like, that's nice. That's like that flip flop sort of color. Galaxy purple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I can see where your screen, this guitar looks like it's blue, but uh, hopefully they can see the color changing going on in the finish. Look at that, there you go. Mm -hmm. So you can see the blue Oh purple. yeah. So that's a great one. What's that go for? Uh, I believe this is going for seven forty nine. Street price? Yeah. Right, we got a bunch of hail fires. All hail. Look at all that. That's the new caramel. Really great color. I have to say, y'all have some colors that are just really insane on guitars. Beautiful finishes. 
Yeah, it's. Uh, I've been really happy that we did this year. I love that uh, Silver Sparkle Imperial Junior over there. It's been a great one. And of course, we used that Galaxy Red again on the Halcyon, which I think is a really awesome looking color still. It's hard to capture that color too because it's a multi-stage finish. So, you know, camera can't see it as well as the eye does. Yeah. And uh, what showroom tour would be complete if we didn't look at the bases? Right? Right. Right. <laughs> you got some bases. Because I'm all about um, base, base players. Yeah. We're bass players. I'm a bass player. I'm a, I have one friend who's a bass player. These bases. Look, Paul. You like that one? Mm -hmm. I like how the, the body is trimmed in black, but the black cuts in. Because oh, yeah. all these are like natural, has the natural. Uh huh. But this has the black in it. That's for the extra guitar. Yes. Pretty sweet. Bye, Diamond Guitars. Yeah, we got some stuff in the back. Yeah. And we're heading out. Headed this back to Canton. Building. Great visit. Now we got to figure out just how to get out of here. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and get All back right. on crazy I-45. Yes. All right. Go back home. Go back home. Talk Can to y'all in a bit. Can Texas. Can Texas. Here we go. Be back Texas. Peace. Bye. So we're in the middle of I-45. We just got on I-45 to head back, and it is touch and go. You can, you know, you can <clears> see the. The motion of the camera and how it's going back and forth but this is six o'clock and it's not too bad because we're you know we're going about 40 miles 30. per hour <laughs> of what is that 40 kilometers yeah. and per hour and um so yeah houston is a beautiful texas city but oh my god the traffic yeah it's 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 dumb <laughs> it's insane but it's not really it's it's just as bad as Dallas, really, at this time of day. That's true. But the drivers, like I said earlier, they are driving like someone is chasing them. Like like they're in hot pursuit of of either somebody or <coughs> someone's in hot pursuit of them. You think Houston like drivers like they stole something. You think Houston drivers are more aggressive than Dallas drivers? Definitely. Definitely. When you're on like 635, like that, like that guy, when you're on 635 in Dallas, people will actually let you in. They'll they'll sh shine their blinkers. These people are like, oh no, you aren't. They will cut you if you try to get in. Houston don't play, y'all. Houston don't play. So, there you have it, y'all. All right. All of our Australian friends and uh, UK friends and European friends and South American friends. Yeah. If you live in America, you maybe you've been to Houston. I don't know. But yeah. It's not like it's New York traffic or something crazy. Like no. That, but, you know. No. But yeah. But it's still annoying. It is. No, oh, no, 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 sorry about that guy's luck. That sucks. That does suck. Sorry. Man. Hope you find. Bless you. Peace with Jesus. Dance still time. And beard. And beard time. We're not moving right now. Oh, now we're creeping. Creep. We'll see y'all. We'll see y'all when we get to Sam Houston statue. Yeah, that'll be fun. Rock on. Bye. I-45 has calmed down a little bit since Houston, but we're coming up on a really cool landmark. All my international, intercontinental friends. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Pretty sweet. We're right outside of Huntsville, Texas. Yep. Known for its prisons. <laughs> yeah. Lots of prisons in Huntsville. Yeah. Don't pick up any hitchhikers yeah. outside of Huntsville. I'm no, just saying. don't do that. <clears throat> but other than that, we got uh, one, of the, one of the founding... Uh, Fathers uh, of Texas? Founding, well, he's not really the father of Texas. The no. father of Texas would be Stephen F. Austin. Number Jacks. Jacks. Yeah, but this is... Sam Houston. Yeah. A very integral figure in Texas history. You can see this big bad mama jama coming up real fast. Walk Ooh. softly and carry a big stick. No. 
Yeah, that wasn't Sam Houston. But, yeah, uh, that wasn't Sam Houston. A lot of bird doo on the window. Yeah. Yeah. Get some bird doo on your nose. There's there Sam. Go. What up, Sam? Here you go. He's a dapper feller right he is. here. Yeah. Dapper Sam. Dapper Sam. Sam Houston State University. Yeah. In Huntsville, next to the prisons. <laughs> so, uh, attack some jacks. <laughs> no, Sam Houston's okay, too. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there you go. That was him. There was Sam. Yay, Texas. Go, Texas. We just crossed into Van Zandt County, y'all. Woohoo! <laughs> Which is where Canton is. Yeah. <clears throat> Highway 19 up in this mud. It's dark out there. It is dark. It'd be dark. It's like 10.07 p.m. Central Standard Time. Mm -hmm. Texas time. Look, there's like... 13 miles, y'all. So excited. So excited. Can't wait to see the babies. Oh, there's a dead deer on the side of the road. Welcome wow. to Texas. Welcome to Texas. Oh, my God. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Yeah, we got to go pick up our boys. Yeah. Then uh, go home, get some sleepage. Mm-hmm. It's been a long drive. It yeah. has. Woke up in Houston. 10 o'clock. Get back home to camp. Yep. We have plenty of guitars to play with tomorrow and unbox and show off. Yep. It's been a great trip. I want to say thank you to Jeff Avalant from Diamond Guitars and Amps. Yay! So it was an awesome trip. Hey, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. And Sam and Hi, Chris Sam and all the other and guys. Chris and the other guys, the ninjas working on the amps. Yes. <laughs> Stealthy ninjas. Stealthy. They were great, man. And uh, Mike, is it a Mike? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was a great trip. We had a good time. Enjoyed the ribs tremendously. Yes, that was a fun, fun aspect. We had a great lunch. So very successful trip overall, I would say. Mm -hmm. Really pleased with uh, everything we talked about and everything we got planned. So I am ready to be home though. Me too. <clears throat> so thanks for watching. You guys keep the music alive. Weedly, 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 weedly. Oh, hands on the wheel. Yes. Weedly, weedly, hands on the wheel. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye, guys.